So whenever our client, the guy that we just gave a couple uh, million pesos in order for them to, to be able to keep producing their, their, their product, stops paying, we can keep on distributing their product, but we will only cut the cash flow. So that will, that will be a way in which we can pressure them in order for them to pay. And in case they cannot pay because they just can't pay, it's as simple as we give them back their product, we, we stop doing business with them. Uh, so, uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for a million dollars in order for us to start. Yes? Sure. Um, so, uh, what are we looking for? A million dollars in order to start allocating those, those funds? And we're asking for equity. Why are we asking for equity if, if we could do some, some debt money? Why, why don't we do it that way? Because if we, if we ask for a million dollars, that would be 20 million pesos, and in the course of a year, we would have to pay the interest in case we do not allocate those funds immediately. And that's a high risk. And so in order for us to start, we want to uh, up our equity. And we currently have five to six uh, potential investors for this uh, one million dollar thing. And uh, the other interesting thing is we're currently doing uh, business and man managing it out with the Bank of Shanghai. They're currently uh, thinking about investing five million dollars. Uh, and about the ten initial initial annual yield, that's what we were expecting at the beginning, but. As money grows, as the, the money we're allocating grows, that money will definitely grow. Um, in order for the credit to be, or the risk to be a little bit less risky, we will diversify that money into uh, those uh, segments of the retail market. Here are some comparisons in between places you can put your money on and how much annual yield you can get from them. And there's something really interesting about the market in Mexico that's really different from the market in the U.S. and why this business will be highly profitable. Uh, over here in the U.S., whenever uh, there's a credit for small businesses, you may find interest rates anywhere from, I don't know, 8 to 12 percent or something like that. In Mexico, we're used to uh, interest rates anywhere from 20 to 20 feet. So even if we're competitive in, in, the, in the credit market, we will have a, a high market. So uh, our working plan is the following. Right now we're going through the normative process of constituting this non-bank financial institution. And in the next couple of years, we, we plan to be moving about $5.8 million. Make your money grow by helping others grow. Thank you. So what are you going to do with the product when, when the 
end customer returns the product because they don't like it. What do you do with that product? But you shouldn't just give it back to the client because the product is not selling. At the end of the day, we're not the, the we're not owners of that product. We just give it back and be like, man, your product is not selling right now. So, yeah. do, you, do you know what the risk model will look like as you lose money from your suppliers? Do I know what the risk the risk model? I mean, how much? What percent of your supplier not going to be able to pay you? Are they going to have a bad product? Are the product going to be returned? Or any of that's going to happen eventually in business. So, do you know like 10% is going to be a default that you're going to lose money? No. Uh, I have to be honest with you, I would be lying if I provide a number right now. Okay. But gladly we could talk about it with the CEO and people that have a little bit more information regarding that side of the business. I just wanted to give you an overview of this business that has been alive for 25 years. And it's been for a reason. Uh, yeah, are there any other questions? Is it competition? Uh, the closest thing to competition uh, regarding Brain Factory or Benny? Uh, either one. Either one? Okay, well, regarding Brain Factory, the closest thing to competition would be distributors. <coughs> but they don't actually take any percentage of the risk. They just buy the product and sell it at a later price. And regarding Benny, uh, the, the basic competition would be bank credits, which are very invasive for the small producer, and also the non-bank financial institutions that are supposed to be given these kind of credits, but uh, they have a very big problem of funding in Mexico. Thanks. Well, thank you very much for your time. <laughs>